Hey, what's up guys, Tama here. We've just landed here in the Gisborne at the airport. And as promised, we're gonna take you guys a little bit behind the scenes on a vlog of the recent project that we're gonna be renovating. And we have planned to do a little bit of demo work and maybe some painting. So one of the key things you have to remember is booking accommodation, the flights, and the rental car in advance. And also call up the hardware stores like the Mitre 10 or the Bunnings and make sure they actually have the supplies that you're going to buy. If they don't, like this paint gun right here, you can actually just pay 20 bucks to add on an extra bag and fly the machine down, which is what we did, because I knew they were sold out at the stores. That is just another tip there for you guys to make sure that you have all the equipment you need. But now we're gonna go check out the house. Alright guys, here we are at the property, about to walk in, see it for the first time. First thing I want to do, take a big whiff and see if there's any dampness. I'm also looking down and I can see the hardwood floors, which looks awesome, because chances are the entire house is like this, which gives it the opportunity to be sanded and avoid carpet costs and it also looks better. Now, I know this house is 122 square meters, so the first thing that I'm looking at is where am I going to put the fourth bedroom. And so I'm going to come into here as well. As we said, you guys would have seen in the webinar, anything over 120, this is where we're looking at. This is the lounge. First thing that I'm looking at right now is a wall, bang, right here, that runs along here. Probably touches right here, and this is another bedroom. This PowerPoint will be moved probably internal, and this is the bedroom. So they'll walk in from here, and then this, I believe, is big enough for a lounge. We'll get rid of that, chip this out, chip this out, so there's more space for the couches. This thing here will go, chip this out, chip this out, jib over this, so there's just a big space here. Now we come into the kitchen area. Tidy, yes, perfect for a rental, but if we're selling to first home buyers, they would want everything new. These things, out of date. So what we'll look at doing is probably strip out this kitchen and probably replace it like for like. The only thing that I'm picking up off is here. This range hood can't be here because it doesn't duck to the outside. So we might need to look at changing the range hood, the oven placement to be here. So we can put a nice canopy range hood here. If we look over this side, we've also got the laundry tub. Now, you don't want a laundry in the kitchen area. So what we might look at doing is if we actually come out here, we've got the hot water cylinder here. This might need to be upgraded, but because there's already plumbing here, chances are I'm gonna send some photos to my plumber and see if we can actually plumb the laundry to also be out here, which will be the best type of decision. We're also looking at the ceilings to see any evidence of water stains, which shows there might be an issue with the roof. So we've got our four bedrooms now. This is just another one here. And as I was already aware of, this has potential scrim behind it, which we'll get rid of. Really nice old wooden features, but we're gonna white out this whole house. And this is the bathroom. This will have new vinyl, new vanity. It's got a shared toilet there and a old style shower. So we might just make that just pretty much make the whole thing new. So yeah, that is just a quick walkthrough of the house. So as you can see, this is the smallest skipman available. So there must be a lot of, say, renovations happening in Gisborne, which is good to know. But this is just where you want to direct it exactly where you want the skip bin to go because it can be a pain in the ass when it's not put in the right place especially for vehicles to come in and out so now that we've got the skip in here all the scrim that we've peeled off the walls we can throw it straight into the skip ask them to take it away and then replace it we're in one of the bedrooms at the property that had a little bit of scrim in it now scrim to say a first home buyer is quite a big deal because it makes it hard to actually get insurance and what scrim actually is i explained this well at the seminar this material here that looks like like an onion sack and the thing about it is very old dry and extremely flammable but actually removing it from a room is actually quite easy now what we're doing is basically using a stanley knife and cutting as high up as we can against the cove and then just literally peeling it off like a wallpaper and if you pan down you'll actually see of what we've done against the walls so if it's got scrim don't think too much of it it's pretty much like an hour's job. All the scrim has been taken off and most likely it will just be like timber framing boards behind it. So what will happen now is jib. New jib will be screwed into the walls and then it'll be plastered and then sanded and then painted and then you would never know that this had scrim before behind it. And what we actually did, which was handy, is because we could struggle to get insurance, we got early access to this house specifically for fixing the scrim. And then before we settle, we can now declare that the house has no scrim whatsoever and fly through with our insurance. Yeah, this, looks like, 
sanding over these areas to obviously reduce the amount of that water yeah. coming through. This just looks like holographic fucking writing here, right? Eh? <laughs> Alright guys, here's an advanced level tip. When you're on the job, keep your eyes open. What do you guys see on the far right? On the street, you can see a van with a trailer. It appears to have landscaping on it, so there must be a landscaper in the area. So what I did is I went over and talked to him, and I said, yo, you a landscaper? Yeah. Hey, we're renovating this house. Do you want to come have a look? Yeah, oh, yeah. Come I'll come have a look now. Sweet ass, bro. Catch you later. And so he came around, basically gave us heaps of advice on what we should do with the landscaping, and this is another key thing. All he did was, oh, you don't need to do that, you should do this, you should do this, and started throwing around money-saving tips. And those are the type of people that you want, because they think very frugal, which is very beneficial for you as a renovator. So, just to help him out, I'm just going to run over and just chuck him some cash for what he's done so far, and also he's going to quote us to do the entire landscaping. So, that's awesome. Alright guys, so we just finished up with that landscaper you would have seen. He's just given us some very valuable insights on what he thinks would work. And it just so happens he owns a house on the street. So of course I'm going to take his word. So he's basically talked about cutting down these trees. Maybe even getting rid of this one here, which is right front and centre. So it opens this whole place up. He's going to level out this. And instead of having the clothesline there, we're going to have the clothesline here, which is much better. We're also going to look at doing a barbecue featured area. Because this is the type of thing that you want as a nice outside shot. Especially coming coming to when we're going to settle in it and then have it on the market in peak summertime almost. Barbecue always is a big hit. So very good to take the advice. Make sure you ask as many questions to these type of contractors. There's no point in thinking you're going to sound dumb. This is their job and you want to learn as much as you can. That is the first visit to this house. We've got numerous other things that we need to do to get this all spick and span for the sale price that we want to achieve. That is the first vlog as well. Down here in Gisborne a lot more will be like this centered around what we do and obviously in certain stages when it comes down to the painting, when it comes down to the plumbing and the electrical which is going to be also beneficial for you guys. So thanks for watching and look out for the next one when we do it whenever that is.